Hello and good evening, Upper Christ Church, especially our dear radicals. Hello and welcome to you at sisigaw ako ng yeah, hey, because it's Iraq again. It's Thursday again and I am Pastora Isa Bunhan. If this is your first time to join us in our live stream, gusto kitang i-welcome, welcome to our Iraq celebration. Ano ba ang Iraq? Iraq is our youth service. So, ibig sabihin, this is a service na talagang para sa mga kabataan, mga estudyante o mga kabataan. So, if this is you, kung ikaw ay estudyante o ikaw ay kabataan, please um, mag-send ka ng emoji ng wave hand para malaman natin na, hey, andito na po ako, pastorita, pastora, andito na po ako, naka-livestream na po ako. And again, thank you for joining us tonight sa ating live stream meeting. Um, for the past Thursdays, we have been opening our IROC celebration through a game. Kanina nakita ko habang nagla-live tayo, meron na mga nagko-comment na sana manalo sila. Talagang inaabangan nila. But for tonight, hindi tayo magkakaroon ng palaro. Oh, but magkakamustahan tayo. Wow! You know, we have moved our game nights to Tuesday nights. Every Tuesday, tayo ay maglalaro at magsasaya together online through our Instagram account, Radicals ACC. Actually, natry na natin. Nagsimula tayo last Tuesday. We began our game night. Tinatawag natin itong IROC Good Vibes. And nag-enjoy talaga kami. Ako especially, uh, personally, kami, kami ni Kuya JJ nyo, ay nag-enjoy kami habang nanonood. It's like a bonding. Parang alam niya parang... Yung Tuesday nights, gagawin natin siyang tambayan natin, bonding natin, para tayong gumala. Pero online tayo, magkakasama tayong nagsasaya. So, uh, bukod dyan sa ating Tuesday Good Vibes, IROC Good Vibes, we will also launch our joint youth or ACC Radicals devotion. Magkakaroon din tayo ng joint Bible reading to remind every one of us na meron nga pala tayong challenge or target this year na matapos natin ang buong Bible sa buong taon. So, magkakaroon po tayo ng online joint Bible reading and hopefully, ito hopefully, mapush natin ang ating first ever online youth conference. Wow! Kasi alam naman natin na hindi posible na makapag-gather tayo together for our annual youth conference. Alam ko, medyo nakakalungkot. Buong taon, inaantay niya talaga to mga radical. So, I really hope na matuloy natin, pag-pray natin na matuloy ang ating online youth conference. Sabi nga ng ating network pastor, at a time like this, we need to upgrade and update. mag adjust tayo sa panahon, and this quarantine will not stop us from going further and from advancing. That's why we're using technology. Marami kaming surprises para sa inyo. Abangan lang ninyo. Details will follow very soon. Taas ang kamay through an emoji. Once again, pwedeng isa, pwedeng dalawang kamay na mga excited para sa mga gagawin natin online sa mga susunod na panahon. Yes, nakaka-excite. Ayun nga po, sinabi ko sa inyo, hindi tayo maglalaro tonight, but instead, we're going to try na makamusta at malaman ang kalagayan ng bawat isa. Kamusta kayo, radicals? Yan ang tanong ko sa inyo. Kamusta kayo? Kamusta kaya kayo? Nakikita ko lang kayo sa mga stories nyo, sa mga posts nyo. But I want to know, kamusta ka nga ba? It has been more than 45 days since tayo ay naging under-enhanced community quarantine. Summer vacation nyo dapat to, but it turned into quarantine. Kaya gusto kitang kamustahin. I want to ask all of you to comment down below sa, sa ating comment section using three emojis and three words. Okay? Ulitin ko ha. Using three emojis and three words kung paano mo um, i-express ang nararamdaman mo during this enhanced community quarantine. For example, ako siguro kung ako ay nakiki-live stream, ang isa-send ko yung yung Emoji na, hey, ganun kamay, kasi excited ako sa ating mga online celebrations. Meron din akong konting sad emoji kasi nami-miss ko na ang All for Christ Church at ang outside world. At meron din siguro akong emoji na dalawang nakataas na kamay kasi, hindi, palitan ko, yung nakapray. Kasi we are all believing na matatapos din ang bawat, ang lahat ng dinadanas natin na ito, especially this crisis. So, right now, gawin po natin yan. Please send in 
three emojis and three words that best describes how you feel right now. And the first 10 commenters will receive a prize. Okay, we will announce later on at the end of our IROC live stream ang mga 10 first commenters na kanilang three emojis and three, what do you call this? Three uh, words na kamusta na sila. Alright? So, gawin po natin yan. Please, please comment down below. Comment down below kung kamusta na kayo. Gusto namin malaman kamusta na kaya ang mga radicals namin. You know, I know that the past days have been extremely challenging for all of us. Pero alam niyo, radicals, kung anong nakakamangha kay Lord? Tanong niyo ako, ano po? Yes, narinig ko kayo. That even during this quarantine, kahit hindi tayo nakikita-kita physically, ay patuloy pa rin at hindi na hinto ang pagsamba natin sa Panginoon. Indeed, nothing can stop us because God is for us and He is forever with us. With that, as we worship the Lord today, I want to read to you Psalm chapter 27. Psalm chapter 27. If you have your Bibles with you, pakisamahan niyo po ako sa pagbabasa ng Psalm 27. So, i-comment niyo lang dyan, mamaya i-reveal natin ang mga nanalo natin. Okay, Psalm chapter 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked advance against me to devour me, it is my enemies and my foes who will stumble and fall. Though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. The war break out against me, even then I will be confident. One thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek Him in His temple. For in the day of trouble, He will keep me safe in His dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of His sacred tent and set me high upon a rock. Then my head will be exalted above the enemies who surround me. At His sacred tent, I will sacrifice with shouts of joy. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Hear my voice when I call, Lord. Be merciful to me and answer me. My heart says of you, seek his face. Your face, Lord, I will seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my helper. Do not reject me or forsake me, God my Savior. Though my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Teach me your way, Lord. Lead me in a straight path because of my oppressors. Do not turn me over to the desire of my foes, for false witnesses rise up against me, spouting malicious accusations. I will remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong. Church, radicals, wait for the Lord. Be strong. Take heart and wait for the Lord. Let's pray. Let's begin um, asking the Lord to be with us in our IROC celebration tonight. Pumikit po tayong lahat. Please join me as we, we, we come to God in prayer. Thank you, Lord. Lord Jesus, we come to you tonight. Lord, we welcome you in our hearts and in our homes. I pray, Lord, that this evening will be extraordinary. We long to encounter you tonight, Lord. Our desire, Lord, is to meet with you and to feel your presence. Lord, mahusa po kayo sa amin sa gabing ito. We ask that you will touch our hearts, O God. We wait on you, Lord. We will worship while we wait on you. We honor your great name. We exalt you, Jesus. We love you, Lord. We just declare ang pag-ibig po namin sa inyo. Mahal na mahal po namin kayo, Panginoong Jesus. Sa inyo po ang aming papuri at pagsamba sa gabing ito sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen and Amen. Let's worship the Lord together tonight.
to trust you Lord God we choose to believe in you no matter what we've been going through our provisions you will provide Lord God our wor our worries you will answer Lord God you will come to our needs Lord Jesus you will come to answer us we love you Lord in these troubled times we choose to lift your name and to honor you in Jesus mighty name we pray Amen, Amen, and Amen. Good evening mga radicals, at good evening po sa bawat isa na nakikinig sa kanilang mga tahanan. Welcome to our IROC online streaming. Kumusta na po ang bawat isa sa atin? I hope that you are doing good and in good shape na healthy po tayong lahat. Alam niyo po, miss na miss na po namin kayo. Miss na po namin yung ating mga celebrations. 
yung ating mga gatherings, yung ating mga fellowship, mga kwentuhan, simpleng kumustahan, at talagang yung makita natin yung bawat isa. We miss, we miss all those things. Pero pansamantala na tayo po ay naka-lockdown, enhanced community quarantine, ito po ay panandalian lang. So habang naka-lockdown po tayo, mag-tune in na lang po tayo sa ating mga live streaming. Kasi sa pamamagitan po nito kahit papano mapapalakas po ang ating pananampalataya, makikita po natin ang ating mga pastor, at higit sa lahat po, mafe-feed po tayo ng Word of God. Um, alam niyo po, habang tayo ay dumaranas ng ganitong klaseng sitwasyon, ang dami nating sigurong self-realization. Ako po, personally, ang dami kong self-realization. No? Kasi mas marami kang oras ngayon, mas marami kang panahon ngayon, mas marami kang time to analyze and evaluate. And sa, sa mga self-realization ko, isinusulat ko po ang lahat ng mga ito. And I hope that you also are doing the same. Para pagkatapos po ng lockdown, we become a better version of ourselves. We will have a better perspective. And at the same time, we will have a deeper relationship with God. Last Thursday, ang ganda ng message ni Pastor Fur. He talks about the acronym of STAY. Yung letter S stands for STAY POSITIVE. Alam niyo po, mas kailangan natin maging positibo ngayon. Letter T, thank God. We need to find and look for reasons to be thankful to God sa lahat ng blessings niya. Letter A, let's appreciate. Let's try to appreciate, may it be big or small, yung mga blessings po na dumarating sa atin. We learn out how to appreciate yung mga kasama natin sa bahay. And letter Y, we always say yes to the Lord. We always say yes to Him. And ngayong gabi po, patuloy pa rin natin pag-aaralan ng Book of Philippians. Nasa Philippians pa rin po tayo for book study. But before that, I just want you to join me in a short prayer. Pwede po ba tayong mag-pray for a moment? I want you to bow down your heads and close your eyes. And just ask the Holy Spirit to give you the spirit of understanding so that we may understand His Word. Let's all pray. Lord Jesus, we just want to say thank you for tonight. Lord, we welcome you because we know that you are here in our midst. Panginoon, turuan niyo po kami. We need your presence, most especially at this time, that we are facing, Lord, a difficult crisis. Lord, samahan niyo po kami, Panginoon. Maranasan po namin, Lord, ang inyo pong presensya. Higit sa lahat, Panginoon, patuloy po kami, Panginoong Manampalataya, na hindi niyo po kami pababayaan. Maging sa gabi pong ito, I pray na buksan niyo po ang aming isipan, buksan niyo po ang aming puso, Panginoon, na marinig po namin kayo. Father, we thank you and we ask all these things in the mighty name and powerful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And everybody will say with me, Amen and Amen. Like what I said po, pag-aaralan pa rin natin ang Book of Philippians. Tonight, tayo po ay magpo-focus sa Philippians chapter 2. And as you all know, nabanggit ni Pastor for last Thursday, na ang Book of Philippians po ay isa sa pinakamasayang sulat ni Apostle Paul. And alam niyo po ba na isinulat niya to habang siya po ay nakakulong? Nakalockdown din. Ang pagkakaiba nga lang natin, si Apostle Paul nakakulong sa preso. Samantalang tayo po, nakalockdown lang tayo sa ating mga bahay. Just imagine, Apostle Paul, during his time that he was on his lockdown and in prison, nagawa niya pang sumulat. At yung pagsulat niya po ay... Napakasaya kasi inaalala niya yung mga taong na mimiss niya, especially the Philippians, the church in Philippians, the people in Philippi, na sobrang miss niya na. And I guess, no, mas mahirap yung pinagdaanan ni Apostle Paul because all throughout his lockdown, wala siyang katulad natin, wala siyang Netflix, wala siyang YouTube, wala siyang mapapanood, wala man nang mag entertain sa kanya. But all he had at that time was a paper and a pen para sumulat, ng sulat para sa mga taga-Pilipians. And siguro sa lockdown, ang dami, sa sitwasyon natin ngayon, ang dami nating na-realize. Ang dami pong nabago. Nabago po yung takbo natin. All of a sudden, biglang nabago yung buhay natin sa, sa, sa nangyari na COVID-19, yung pandemic. Bigla kong tumigil ang lahat. Ano pong nangyari? Tumigil ho yung pagiging busy natin. 
Siguro kung dati marami kang puyat, ngayon ang dami mo ng tulog. Puro tulog ka na lang, puro kain, pagpapahinga. Siguro namimiss natin yung time na sobrang busy tayo, abalang-abala yung katawan natin. Ang dami mong nabago, ang daming pagkakaiba ngayon kasi yung mga ginagawa natin noon, hindi natin masyadong nagagawa ngayon because we are totally locked down and have limited space and activities inside our houses. Wala nang masyadong nata-traffic. Dahil nga naman lahat tayo work from home na. Wala na rin... Wala na rin masyadong nami-miss yung mga anak nila kasi halos lahat ng mga young people ngayon, especially the teenagers, are not allowed to go outside. Lalo na kung wala kang quarantine pass. Ano pa? Mas naging homebody tayo. Not because it's our personal choice, but I think it's been a good choice for us na mag-stay talaga sa loob ng bahay para maiwasan po natin ang COVID-19. Though this pandemic put on hold everything and all activities in the world. You know, na-realize ko nga that everything can really come to an end. Pwede talagang matapos talaga ng, ng biglang isang click lang, matapos lahat ng ginagawa mo. But thanks be unto God, alam ko as we are experiencing all this crisis and this difficult situation, I know that there are still positive reasons to look at sa ating sitwasyon ngayon. And we can still hold on to God's promises that one day, one day po, magiging maayos na ng lahat. At makikita din po natin ang ating mga kapatid at magkakasama-sama po tayo ulit. Ang prayer ko po tonight is we will all be strengthened by His Word. Let me just go back to the book of Philippians, chapter 2. At babasahin ko lang po yung verse 1 hanggang verse 11. Hindi ko po muna babasahin yung lahat. Ang sabi po dito, if you have your Bible, why don't you open your Bible with me and read with me together. Basahin po natin ang salita ng Panginoon. I'm reading in NIV version. Sabi po dito, therefore, if you have any encouragement from being united with Christ, if any comfort from His love, if any common sharing in the Spirit, if any tenderness and compassion, then make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and of one mind. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves. Not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of the others. In your relationship with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus. Who, being in very nature, God did not consider equality with God, something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness, and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. And every tongue acknowledge that Jesus, is, Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Alam niyo po ngayong gabi yung message ko since we are studying Book of Philippians, pinamagatan ko po itong Live Life to the Fullest. Alam ko po na habang tayo ay naka-lockdown, we have limited activities, limited resources, halos lahat po limited. Pero we can still live life to the fullest because that is really the design of God. Yun po talaga ang disenyo ng Panginoon that we can all enjoy our life we can all maximize our potentials and we can live this the, this life that God has given us to the full. Ang sabi po dito sa book of Philippians, so verse 1, Therefore, if you have any encouragement from being united with Christ, if any comfort from His love, if any common sharing in spirit, if any tenderness and compassion, then make my joy complete. You know, I realize that when we are united with Christ, when we are united with Jesus, we have this kind of comfort from His love. We have this kind of sharing in the Spirit 
His tenderness and compassion. May experience po natin ng lahat na to. Maybe you realize no, that there's a big difference if you come to know Jesus. If you are with God, mas less po yung tension. Mas less yung panic. Mas less yung nagkakaroon ka ng anxious thoughts. Mas less yung time na parang hindi mo alam kung anong mangyayari sa mundo. But you have this kind of peace inside your heart that you know lahat po ng ito ay matatapos at lahat po ng ito ay fully controlled by God. Tonight, as we live life to the fullest, I only have three points. First point I want us to remember and take down is let's love like never before. Sino na po ba rito ang nagmahal? Taas ang kamay. Sino na rito naka-experience magmahal? Alam niyo po, pag nagmahal ka, ito yung pinakamasarap na feeling ng isang tao na nararamdaman. But we will not dwell on the love that we think about the opposite sex. We will just dwell on the love that we have and experience from Christ. Nung time na nakilala natin ang Panginoon, we experience His love. Yung kakaibang pagmamahal ng Panginoon sa atin. We understand kung gano'n tayo kamahal ng Panginoon. You know, the description of God's love to us is unselfish, unconditional, and selfless. Hindi inisip ng Panginoon yung sarili niya. In fact, dito sa Philippians chapter 2, sabi dito, Jesus obeyed His Father even to death, death on the cross. Ganun na lang yung pag-ibig ng Panginoon sa atin. And what is the challenge of, of God for us? Ano yung hamo ng Panginoon para sa atin? Let's all love unconditionally. Let's all love unselfishly. Can we love like never before? Alam ko po na marunong tayong magmahal. And in fact, All for Christ has been known as a loving church. Tayo po ay mapagmahal. Sa totoo lang, no, this time of COVID-19, meron po tayong tinawag na may, uh, isang programa na itawid COVID. Ito po ay initiative ng mga church leaders na mag-raise up ng mga funds, mag-gather po ng resources para lang po talaga maabot at matulungan yung mga taong nangangailangan para mas maramdaman nila that there are people in the church. There is a church that can help them. There is a church that can reach out to them. And you know, I realize that when we love like never before, it's a decision that we take this kind of feeling and this emotion and this kind of love like the love of Christ, yung pag-ibig po ng Panginoon. You know, every time, Every time po na nanunood ako at nakikinig ako ng, ng mga news and every time I saw news on the television, nakikita ko po talaga lahat ng effort ng mga Filipino. May it be big or small, mga celebrities, mga known, even mga companies putting all the efforts together to reach out and to share whatever resources na meron sila. At ramdam na ramdam po talaga ang pag-ibig at pagmamahal ng mga Pinoy. How much more sa mga anak ng Diyos? Pwede ba natin pwede ba natin i, i, i level up pa yung pagmamahal natin para sa ibang tao? Pwede pa ba natin i level up yung puso natin na mas mas, mas maging mahusay pa sa pagmamahal? Alam mo na realize ko no habang naka naka lockdown and every day uh, monotonous yung activity, gigising ka Maglilinis ka ng bahay, gagawin mo yung mga normal na nakagawin mo sa buhay, sa, ba- sa ginagawa mo sa bahay. And realize mo habang kasama mo yung mga tao sa loob ng bahay, mas lalo mong nakikilala yung kasama mo sa bahay. Tama po ba? Mas lalo nating nakakasama, matagal. Lalo na ngayon, every single day tayo ang magkakasama. Yung pamilya mo, yung tatay mo, yung nanay mo, yung mga kapatid mong mahukulit. Yung mga kapatid mong mahilig mang asar, kayo-kayo yung magkakasama. You realize that the more time that you are together, the more time that you have been with us, with, with, with you, with your family, magkakasama kayo, mas lalo nyo pong nakikilala ang bawat isa. Minsan nagkakapikunan, minsan nagkakaasaran, minsan nagkakabuisitan. Pero sa totoo lang, marirealize mo, at the end of the day, yung pamilya mo pa rin talaga ang babalikan mo. But tonight, ang challenge sa atin is, if we want to live life to the fullest, ang kailangan natin gawin, let's love like never before. 
turuan natin na mas lalo pa natin i-level up ang pagmamahal natin. Una sa Panginoon, pangalawa sa ating mga kapatid, sa ating mga kapamilya, sumunod sa mga tao mas nangangailangan pa ng pagmamahal. I guess when you see the social media, when you see Facebook, when you see IG, you can realize no, ang dami-daming tao ngayon ang so much depressed, takot, anxious, nag-aalala, balisa, hindi nila alam kung anong pwedeng mangyari sa mundo, and makikita mo yung kanilang mga emotions, yung kanilang mga pinaparating sa Facebook. But let's become a different type of people. Let's spread love. Let's have the capacity to level up our love. Let's increase our capacity to love. Alam niyo po, kahit we are in this time, malayo po tayo sa isa't isa, hindi po tayo magkakasama, we are still connected. You and I are still connected. So let's be more loving and caring. Let's love like we never loved before. Yung kind of love na talagang, alam mo, ginagawa mo yung isang pagmamahal, yung isang bagay dahil mahal mo. Ang sabi nga ni Apostle Paul also in 1 Corinthians 13, sabi niya doon, If I give all I possess to the poor and surrender my body to the flames, but I have not love, I only gain nothing. Wala pa rin ako mapapala. I think everything will boil down to one thing. And God wants us to increase our capacity to love. Magmahal tayo ng lubusan. Mas maging, mas maging, mas pagbutihin pa natin yung pagmamahal natin para sa ating pamilya, sa ating kapwa, at sa ating mga kapatid. You know, I realize, without the love of God, kung wala po yung pagmamahal ng Diyos sa atin, I think we are all wasted. Wala tayong direction, wala, walang salvation. But thanks be unto God, because His love is so perfect. It's so unconditional. Wala siyang tinitingnan. Hindi niya, hindi niya minimeasure up yung ating pagkakamali. But He is looking at you as a precious child of God. Mahal na mahal po tayo ng Panginoon. And why don't we ask ourselves, can I still level up my love for others? Kaya ko pa bang itaas yung pagmamahal ko para sa iba? Let's all love with all our hearts. Because love is all that matters now. Pag-ibig po ang siyang magtatagumpay at patuloy na maglilid sa atin para mas maging malapit po tayo sa Panginoon. Second point. Second point po, how we can live life to the fullest, it's, is shine like never before. Sabi ni Apostle Paul in Philippians chapter 2, verse 5 to 8, In your relationship with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus, who, being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness and being found in appearance as a man. He humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. I think this time of COVID-19, if we raise our love high, and then we need to shine like we never shine before. Ang hawan po sa atin ng, ng panahon is Christ likeness in the midst of COVID-19. Alam ko maraming tao nagre-reklamo kung bakit hindi sila nabigyan ng ayuda, bakit delayed yung ayuda, bakit ito lang yung na-receive nila. I think sa panahon na to mas lalo nating paintingin pa, mas lalo nating paghusayin yung pagiging kristyana natin kung paano tayo mabubuhay na mas maningning mas nakikita ng tao na oh, kakaiba yung pamilya na ito ah, na kahit merong, merong krisis sa mundo bakit parang ang saya-saya pa rin nila bakit hindi sila nagkakagulo bakit hindi sila nag-aaway-aaway anong meron sila maybe our neighbors will be will be conscious and curious enough na why is this family is getting better and better na habang merong krisis na pinagdadaanan bakit mas nagiging maayos pa sila because God wants us. Look at me. God wants us to be more like Jesus. In the time of COVID-19, let's become the representative of God to these people. You know, people wanted to see hope. People wanted to hear hope. People wanted to be prayed for. 
people wanted to be cared for. People wanted to hear good news. People wanted to see the bright hope na merong magandang mangyayari sa atin. Na kahit meron tayong pinagdadaanan, kakayanin natin to Because God is with us. Ang sabi nga ng Matthew chapter 4, verse 16, In the same way, let your good deeds shine out for all to see, so that everyone will praise your heavenly Father. Ang sabi ganon, in the same way, let your light shine before men. Hindi po natin kailangang itago kung sino tayo ngayon sa panahon na to. The more that we need to broadcast, the more that we need to shout out, the more that we need to, to let people know who we are, that we are children of God. And we need to inspire people. We need to, to shine. We need to shine like the stars in the universe. Ang sabi ni Paul sa verse, sa verse 12, Therefore, my dear friends, as you have always obeyed, not only in my presence, but now much more in my absence, continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Do nothing. Do everything without grumbling or arguing so that you may become blameless and pure children of God without fault in a warped and crooked generation, then you will shine among them like stars in the sky. Alam ko po na mahirap ipinagdadaanan natin. But why don't we choose to shine like the stars in the universe? Why don't we choose to shine for Jesus? Mas kailangan po natin magningning sa panahon na to. Ikaw at ako, Ang hama ng Panginoon, God wants you to shine. And God wants you to shine brightly. Third point, and I'm gonna close on this. If we want to live life to the fullest, surf like never before. Maglingkod po tayo sa Panginoon. Eh, Pastor na Vibs, naka-lockdown nga lahat. Anong klaseng ministry ang pwede kong gawin? Yung ministry ko on the stage, hindi ko pwedeng gawin sa loob ng bahay. Think about how you can serve. You know what, the last... At the last passage of Philippians chapter 2, Paul commended two persons. Meron hong nirekomenda si Apostle Paul na dalawang tao. Let me just read with you, no? Si, si Timothy at saka si Epaphroditus. These were the two people who was with Paul during the time that he was in prison. At ang sabi po ni Paul, ni Paul sa verse 20, I have no one else like him who takes a genuine interest in your welfare. Si Timothy and Epaphroditus was man of God, men of God, na talaga namang nag-shine, talaga namang ipinakita kay Paul ang kanilang pagmamahal sa kanilang leader. At hindi lang po yun, pinaglingkuran nila si Paul during the time of, of need. Yung time na nangangailangan si Paul, they were there for them. They were there for Paul. Ang saan gano'n ni Paul, they showed interest and care for them. How about us? Alam niyo po, every time I see the frontliners and every time I see news on the television na talaga naman yung mga frontliners natin, they are sacrificing their their families, hindi nila nakikita, hindi nila nayayakap. Talaga naman minsan nakakadurog ng damdamin kasi meron ako napanood, isang isang police na every time na uuwi siya, inaabangan siya ng mga anak niya. Hindi siya mayakap. Ang ginawa niya, miss na miss niya na yung mga anak niya, yung kanyang initiative para lang mayakap niya, binalot niya ng plastic yung dalawang bata. At yung nakabalot na yung plastic yung mga bata, inakap niya. Talagang niyakap niya na mahigpit yung mga anak niya kasi nga, hindi siya pwedeng yumakap basa-base. Uh, hindi masyadong safe. But one thing no, that really strikes me is Filipinos, we are we are so much care. Uh, marami, mahilig tayong mag-care sa ating mga kapwa. Sobrang, ano tayo, sobrang maalalahan din tayo sa ating kapwa. And not only that, it's more time that we need to to, to show to these people that we can serve in a way that we never served before. Yung hamon talaga na pwede tayong maglingkod, pwede tayong maging encouragement, pwede tayong maging inspirational. Si Timothy and Epaphroditus, they serve God's purpose by serving God's people. How about you? Na ngayong pandemic, kaya ba natin mag-alay 
at sabihin sa Panginoon na, Lord, I want to serve you in my own little capacity. Gusto ko maglingkod. Hindi naman kailangan laging sobrang bongga or sobrang sobrang announce or or what. Pero ang kailangan lang natin is to decide that, Lord, I want to serve you. And if you want to live your life to the fullest, why don't you love God above all? Why don't you shine like you never shined before? And why don't you serve God like never before? We may be locked down, mga kapatid. Pero sa totoo lang, our spirit are not locked down. Hindi naman talaga totoo na locked down. I think the more that we need to encourage other people, the more that we need to pray for other people, the more that we need to really really become an inspiration to other people. In closing, let me just encourage everyone. Maybe you feel that you are hopeless and sometimes parang feeling mo wala namang patutungan tong sitwasyon na to. Maaring nararanasan mo minsan na parang nagpapanik ka, nag-aalala ka, kung anong pwede pang mangyari sa kinabukasan. But I want us to realize if we make God the center of everything, and if we hold on to all His promises, I'm sure, mas magiging ibang takbo ng puso at isip natin. Pwede ngayong gabi, you wanted to say to God, na Lord, more than anything else that I am experiencing with, more than this pandemic situation, more than the difficulties, I want to decide tonight that I want to love you like never before. I want to shine brighter like never before. I want to serve you, Lord, like never before. Panginoon, hayaan mo mas maging maigting ang aking pagmamahal. Mas maging maigting, Panginoon, ang aking pag-ibig sa'yo. Mas mamuhay ako, Panginoon, ng merong mataas na papuli sa'yo. At mas maglingkod ako, Panginoon, ng merong kagalakan. If this is your prayer, kapatid, I just want you to bow down your heads and I'm gonna pray for you. Amen? Let's all pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I just lift up everyone right now. Lord, sa mga tao na gusto nilang ialay muli sa inyo ang kanilang mga buhay. Father, we want to love you more like never before. We want to shine brighter, Lord, like never before. We want to serve you, Lord, like never before. Hayaan niyo, Panginoon, sa kabila, Lord, na aming pinagdara, pinagdaraanan, Lord, na pagsubok, mas lalo pong maging maigay. Thank Panginoon ang aming pagmamahal sa inyo, ang aming pagmamahal sa aming kapwa, ang aming pagmamahal sa aming pamilya. Lord, mas lalo pong magningning Panginoon ang aming mga buhay, mas lalo pong makita kayo Panginoon sa aming buhay. Higit sa lahat Panginoon, sa bawat pagkakataon, Lord, na ibibigay niyo sa amin, hayaan niyo po Panginoon maglingkod po kami Lord ng meron pong kagalakan. Father, I declare right now the joy of serving you, the joy of loving you, the joy, God, of living for you. And I just declare, Lord, that you will bless your people, O oh God. Maranasan, Panginoon, yung mga anak, Panginoon, ang inyo pong pag Panginoon, ang inyo pong pag-agapay Panginoon sa aming pong mga pinagdadaanan. Father, we thank you and we just commit to you, Lord God, our lives. We commit to you, Lord God, our heart and we commit to you, Jesus, everything in us. We ask all these things in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and Amen. And ngayong gabi po, bago po ako tuluyang magtapos sa aking message, I'd like also to speak to all our VIPs sa aming mga first-timer. Maybe this is your first time na makarinig ka ng ganitong mensahe. Maybe first time mo na makarinig ng pagmamahal ng Panginoon. You know, it's not an accident. Pwede nga nanonood ka lang ngayon, but God is really speaking into your heart. Let me just share with you a very quick message. Ang tawag po namin dito, ABC of a good life. Paano nga ba talaga tayo makakalive, mabubuhay ng, ng to the fullest? na talagang merong, mas, merong joy, merong peace, merong, merong provisions, merong, merong pagmamahal ng Panginoon. Sabi doon, letter A, admit that you sin against God. 
Alam niyo po, sa totoo lang, lahat po tayo nagkasala. No one is exempted. Mayaman man o mahirap, nagkasala po tayo. And if you are admitting tonight na, Pasora Vivian, nagkasala po ako. Ang dami ko pong atraso sa Panginoon. Then you are qualified. Ako po, ang dami ko rin kasalanan. But I ask God for forgiveness. At pinatawad po ako ng Panginoon. Sabi po ng Romans 3.23, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Letter B, Believe that God loves you and Jesus died for you. John 3.16 is a valid proof na tayo po ay minahal ng Panginoon. Sabi doon, For God so loved the world, that He gave His one and only Son, that whosoever believe in Him shall not perish but will have everlasting life. Alam niyo po, ganun katindi ang pagmamahal ng Panginoon sa iyo. Grabe, ibinigay niya ang kanyang kaisa-isang anak para iligtas po tayo sa ating mga kasalanan. And letter C, as I move on, sabi po ng letter C, confess Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Romans 10 verse 9, if you declare with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe that God raised Him from the dead, you will be saved. Alam niyo po, ngayong panahon na to, mas kailangan po natin ang Panginoong Jesus. Siya lang po ang pwedeng magligtas sa atin. Siya lang po ang pwedeng tumulong sa atin. And if you are saying this to me right now, if you are saying this to yourself, na gusto mong tanggapin ng Panginoon, I'm gonna lead you to a special prayer. We call this prayer of acceptance. Tatanggapin mo ang Panginoon sa puso mo bilang Panginoon at sariling tagapagligtas. And I will lead you to that prayer. If you're ready, I want you to bow down again your head and close your eyes and say this prayer aloud with me. Sabi mo yung gantong panalangin, Lord Jesus, maraming pong salamat sa isang nakilang pagmamahal, Panginoon. At sa oras pong ito, Panginoon, humingi po ako ng tawad sa lahat ng kasalanan na nagawa ko po laban sa inyo. Panginoon, tinatanggap ko kita bilang aking Panginoon at sariling tagapagligtas. Maghari po kayo, Panginoon, sa buhay ko. Patuloy ko po, Panginoon, maunawaan ang plano po ninyo. At patuloy ko pong maranasan, Panginoon, ang mga pangako ninyo. Marami pong salamat, Panginoon, sa buhay na walang hanggan. In Jesus' name, Amen and Amen. I want you to remember this day. Tonight is April 30, 2020. Tinanggap mo ang Panginoon as your personal Lord and Savior. And I want you to know ang pangako ng Panginoon. Ang pangalan mo, nakasulat na sa aklat ng buhay. At hindi lang yun, meron pang maraming pangako ang Panginoon sa iyo. Amen? And right now, before we end up our IROC celebration, I want to declare blessings. I want you to raise up your, your hands in the form of receiving God's fullness of blessings. Are you ready? Come on, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare right now your blessings to be upon your people, Lord, everywhere. Kung saan man sila Panginoon naroon. I declare God your protection. We declare the blood of Jesus to cover each one of them. And the line ko Panginoon, this time of quarantine, mas lalo po kayo Panginoon mangusap sa amin. God, that we will never be the same again. But we will become a people, Lord. A loving people, Lord. We will become, Lord, the people, Panginoon, who will shine bright for you. And we will become the people, Lord, always ready to serve you. Jesus, we love you. Bless your people tonight. I declare provisions. I declare protections, Lord. And I declare good health to everyone else. And more than that, Panginoon, I declare your peace, O God, sa aming mga tahanan. Marami pong salamat. We praise you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless us all. And remember that this is your church, your home. Come and join us on our online streaming because we are all for you. We are all for Christ.